Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 8th, 2019. So my goodness, everyone, what an ugly day yesterday. And if you remember when we were talking about uh, this yesterday morning, I suggested that if we happen to to break down through this support, that we could quickly see some significant selling coming into the market as those stop losses in here get tripped. And that seems to be exactly what happened. We dropped down through there and then the real selling got heavy at that point, actually moving even lower and breaking down through some additional levels of support. You can see um, I've got this next line that I put in here and that was put in yesterday, just trying to kind of get a level right across in here that um, we were looking for some price support in the chart. And as you can see, we did end up finding it right about there. And late yesterday, we had um, a little bit of a short covering rally at the end of the day. Now this morning, doggone it, um, we had futures all night long that were positive. And uh, this morning they have turned negative Right now, we're looking at a gap down of more than 120 points. Um, and that has changed a lot today. We've been down, um, you know, in the last hour, we've been down over 150 points. We've been down 80 points. So it's been fluctuating substantially this morning. That could be to several factors. You know, when it, uh, I, I wrote in the morning note today, when it rains, it pours, and that's really the case. First, we have the trade situation and, and a new story out um, on CNBC uh, basically said that um, China sent um, over diplomatic cable a, a change to the negotiation terms where they essentially walked back every concession that they had made um, over the months of negotiation. And so that was the, uh, the reaction of the president then, of course, was to announce the uh, trade tariffs. Uh, much different than I had originally uh, thought it was and, and much different than the way the press had originally characterized this, that it was just a, a knee-jerk reaction of the president. Um, so kind of an interesting turn of events here, but I don't know that that changes anything market-wise. We still have a major threat of a possible failure and um, tar tariffs going up on Friday. So then we also have Iran over there, Iran kicking some sand at the U.S., uh, creating some hate and discontent in places. Uh, so we have some issues, some tensions growing with Iran. And then you throw in more than 400 companies reporting earnings today, and you just have a, um, a lot for the market to react substantially to. And that's what we're getting even this morning. We're seeing those futures fly around pretty fast this morning um, in reaction to all of this, this information and really the indigestion of trying to digest all this information. You know, markets hate uncertainty and uncertainty, we have a pot full of it right now. So kind of take that into consideration on how you plan to trade. We can expect very fast price action. We can expect really quick reversals. Um, lots of just lots of plain uncertainty in the market and the market's trying to decide how to handle that. So keep that in mind. Now, let's take a look at, at the charts themselves and see what we have in here. Now, if we can continue to rally, if we do get a short covering rally and we can break back above this level, we could be in pretty good shape. If we can break back above and then find a way to prove that we can hold in here, we could be in pretty good shape for that um, um, holding of support and potential to move on higher then. But if we are unable to regain that support level, um, just know that we could easily slip right down into this level of support. And if that breaks, um, we just continue to move lower. Looking for that level of support that will actually hold us, um, hold us up. So we've got a lot of potential for downside, but we also have 
the possibility of a bit of a short covering relief rally anytime because short term we might be a little bit stretched on the oversold uh, condition, uh, particularly after a gap down this morning. So kind of keep that in mind when there is a possibility of a short cover relief rally, but um, those can be very brief. They can be very short and then we can continue on with, with selling. So All I can say is plan your risk carefully. And if you do decide to trade, trade small positions and be really quick to take profits because the market could um, suck profits out of that. Um, any good trade really fast. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quick. SPY, um, also a nice little short covering rally right at the end of the day. And we caught this level of support that I'd marked in the chart right here. And I suggested yesterday that if we were to fail through here, then um, expect that quick move. And we certainly got that. We came down here, tested to this level of support. Now, the good news is that we held that at the end of the day. Holding up above here, you can see this morning we're gapping back down toward the lower side of this. Let's hope this um, level can hold because if this level doesn't hold, we have some significant drops that could be um, in play. You know, for example, we could easily come right down into here and that could be a little bit painful, obviously, if that were to occur. So watch that closely if this level starts to give up and the sellers um, um, stay um, stay in control let's take a look at the um, cues cues also gave up support yesterday dropping through and coming right down to this next level of support that I had marked in the chart isn't it isn't it amazing um, how charts if you look closely enough if you read the price action it actually gives you clues and you can see how how clearly um, almost to the penny that stopped right there at that price support level it's a, it's just a price action is fascinating to me and if we take the time to study the charts we can see those levels and we can get a pretty good idea of where the market may go to um, in in a sell-off or even in a rally. So um, let's uh, let's first say if we hold this level in here, notice we are gapping down this morning, but if we can hold this level down in here, notice that we have this price resistance up here. Any rally up here has to be a little bit suspect um, as we approach that resistance because that's how lower highs can be made and we get additional failure from uh, levels like that. We'll wanna watch that if we do get that relief rally. If we fail, just keep in mind that we could easily fail this and move right on down to this next level of support in the chart on the NASDAQ and um, starting to create some technical damage here um, in the charts which can cause us some trouble here in the in the future let's take a look at iwm iwm had really really tried to put on a brave face and and really show some strength here and what's good about this chart is that it's actually holding onto its trend it's the only one of the indexes now holding onto the trend uh, funny that that's the case because this has lagged so far behind the rest of the markets and now all of a sudden iwm wants to try and and hold strong so interesting Interestingly enough, we, we did bounce right back up off of that and we kind of held right on to this level of support. This morning, IWM is gapping down and below that level. So we'll want to watch this level up here as resistance. Um, if we can um, bounce um, off of this this morning and come right back up and hold in here, we may be in good shape on IWM. But if IWM starts to give up in here, we have a significant fall that could be created here in those small cap stocks. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at the uh, VIX. The VIX, um, I have suggested several times, uh, I've been su suggesting this for a while, that we might have been getting a little bit complacent down here um, in the VIX. And that certainly has played out as fear really spiked the last couple of days. Now, what I would suggest is that we have spiked really hard, really fast, and we're going to spike up here again this morning, probably um, on this gap down. 
if we get a rest or pullback, if we find a pullback in the VIX that can come back down here and test in this area, we're going to want to watch that closely because a fear comes back up off of there. That's where the real trouble could come into play. If you can see when we hold pop up and hold um, support levels like this is where we can really get those fear spikes. And so if we get any kind of a rest or pullback and that holds, um, we could have some more trouble ahead. So keep, kind of keep an eye on the VIX right now. What I would suggest is that the, 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 the spike in the VIX right now is, is, is reaching kind of an extreme. And there's a possibility, uh, extreme in a very short term, I should say. Yeah, um, and in that very short term, we could see that a um, uh, little bit of a relief bounce that could begin at any time, a little short covering rally kind of thing. Now, those can be very, very short-lived. They can also last for several days. So kind of watch that close. And VIX may be one of those places where you can watch for some of those clues. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the the uh, four week new high, new low ratio. Now, yesterday I was looking at this um, as we were uh, pretty close down at the lows and we were testing this level right in here. We were down here in that bullish reversal, just barely touching that bullish reversal zone. Now this morning with uh, the gap down this morning, we could gap right down into here in this level where we have that potential of bouncing up. And that's when I say that short term oversold a uh, possible condition. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to has to bounce. We can easily drop down all the way down into here and stay here for a while as we did right over in this area where we got pretty bearish. We stayed there for a little while before we bounced. But what I would say is we're probably getting closer and closer to that potential of a relief rally of some kind. And so we'll want to watch closely the price action if we start to see um, some of those uh, bears uh, selling out of positions, closing down short trades, uh, taking some profits. We could catch that little relief rally back up. We'll want to watch closely for that over the next couple, three days. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar um, rather light day we do have um this um, eia petroleum status report and we know that that can certainly move oil prices around considerably um so we'll want to keep an eye on that at 10 30. we do have a fed speaker to pay attention to but unlikely that's going to move the market our our big economic calendar days are tomorrow we have a couple of big reports on in there on uh, thursday and also on friday so um, kind of keep an eye on those as we move through the rest of this week. On the earnings calendar today, more than 400 companies reporting earnings. We just have a tremendous number uh, reporting earnings today. We have over 500 companies reporting tomorrow. It's likely going to get a little bit nutty on the earnings side. So make sure you're checking those earnings reports. You know, for example, if you take a look at Disney and my TC2000, now I'll, I'll trade software is a little bit different. I highly recommend TC2000, but um, it's you know, one of the things that you can do right here is you can place your earnings dates right here at the top of your chart. So it's it's pretty easy to see when those earnings dates are coming and um, you can plan around that uh, carefully. So think about that. Uh, make sure you're always checking those earnings dates. You don't want to be caught by surprise with that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you profits. I know it may be a little bit challenging and I know it may be a little bit hard to believe that I can even be positive um, on a day like today, but I am positive because what I do know is that we were reaching levels here. We have gone up for so long that we're, we were reaching some of that complacency in uh, in the market and um, we we were overdue for a little bit of a rest or a pullback 
And so we're getting that. Now, as bad as that seems, what I want everyone to remember is when it's over, we get to buy great stocks at better prices. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, pullbacks are rough. They can be very turbulent. They can be very challenging to trade. But at the same time, it's preparing um, uh, preparing um, the slate for us to be able to get uh, better prices on good stocks. So kind of keep that in mind as we watch this um, happen and this shakeup occur. There's no there's no telling you know where this will turn or when this will be over, but there is um, there is good reason to be hopeful on this because once it settles down there'll be better prices. So consider that as you're watching this that um, hey it's not all bad. Um, it's just not all bad when the market pulls back. But um, in that situation, I also want everyone to remember to just be really careful, really cautious uh, about your trading because um, things can move very quickly. It can reverse overnight, just like we're seeing right now. And we can have, you can um, critically damage your account if you try to over trade a market like this. So be really careful. Remember, there's no shame set, standing on the sideline when the market is extremely volatile and you don't have an edge. Um, the best thing for you to do is just stand aside and wait for it to settle down so you can regain your edge in those trades. All right. So with that, everyone, hey, um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I truly appreciate everyone who does that. Clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving comments helps the algorithm show these videos to more people. And I truly appreciate all the help you guys have been giving me. I try to answer them all, but I, I'll tell you, the more and more um, responses I get, it's getting more and more difficult to respond to every single thing. I'm trying very hard to do that. It's important to me. Thank you so much for taking that time to do that. So with that, let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up, have held up really well, things that you might want to be watching for um, in these trades. Now, um, why, am I, why am I even uh, showing you possible long trades? Well, because I don't like to chase a short. Um, when the short has already moved so far so fast, the last thing you want to do is chase that short. You want to be looking for those stocks that that have held up well that could respond higher in any kind of a market bounce on that. So I'm looking more at longer uh, long stocks here. And you can see here in Ford, we have a pretty good uh, price pattern here in Ford. Ford setting up, it just really hasn't reacted lower at all in this move, you may want to take a look at Ford holding up really well, really well, and could easily see some higher prices if the market can kind of recover, get a little bit of bounce going on here. Now I've mentioned SNPS several times and SNPS continues to uh, consolidate here in this nice consolidation, really no response, um, not following along with the market here, holding into this trend, one to definitely be keeping an eye on uh, for that potential if the market does bounce this could respond higher and get a nice move moving on through let's take a look at stock like BAH BAH did get a little bit of a pullback yesterday with the extreme selling in the market but BAH holding up very very well might be one to keep on your list and watch for that potential if the market does start to react a little bit higher this one could start moving up um, pretty quickly um, in the chart take a look at LM or uh, Lulu now Lulu um, really could be in that place where it could drop off of this list and not be a good quality trade and the reason is we're we're trying to break down the trend now if this were to respond quickly back and come right back up we would be okay but let's watch this one close this may not be ready for prime time just yet and could actually fail here so kind of keep an eye um, on that chart take a look at STZ STZ continuing to hold up uh, one of those consumer defensive sector stocks holding up quite 
quite well, pulling back to its trend. This is one that I want to be watching closely for that potential. If the market does respond higher, some of these stocks can start moving up uh, pretty substantially. So keep an eye on those. So there's just a few for your list. Now we could start looking at um, trades that could be setting up here in the near future for a failure. Take a look at Boeing. Boeing um, breaking down this little uptrend it has, uh, following more in this downtrend, um, struggling right here at a key, a key support area. This is a big level of support. If Boeing were to fail here, this could be um, uh, devastating really for the overall market. Now, if we happen to catch some support here, we want to watch this for some little bit of a rally back to resistance and then the potential of that failure to come. And that's where I want to short. I want to short at or near price resistance. I don't want to chase the short at support. And that's what I was meaning um, why I'm looking at some of these um, long stocks right now rather than chasing one of these shorts. Um, another another one that could be really critical to the health of the market here is Caterpillar. Caterpillar being um, a, a large company and you can see um, picked up um, some ugliness here and um, we also have a head and shoulders top that is that is formed here on the chart here's our neckline of that head and shoulders any rally back up into here where we could run into resistance anywhere along these areas we want to watch that rally back for any kind of a failure pattern in that potential short to the downside so there are short shorting opportunities but we have to wait for them to catch a little bit of rally back we don't want to chase them to the downside and happen to catch them right when the market bounces up all right, everyone. Hey, I want to wish you all a great day. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. I wish you all the best. And if you're struggling, hey, it's okay to stand aside. There's no shame to stand on the sidelines when the market is like this. Don't risk your capital when you don't have an edge. All right. Hey, everyone, take care. We'll talk to you all very, very soon.